Be prepared to get hungry. You don't need to work all day in the kitchen to get these delicious tender ribs. I'm with Shani Ogden. She's here to show us how to make mouthwatering ribs in, here it comes, the crock pot. Yep. Shani, it's great to have you, great to meet you. Thank Can you. we really get great ribs in the crock pot? Yes. Yes. These are delicious. Everybody's been smelling oh. them and saying how good they smell. Everyone's having a fit in the studio. They smell amazing. And anything in a crock pot, busy mom here, I am all we aboard it. with. So how do we, we start? It. So we've got our crock pot over here. Okay. And these are called country style ribs. And they are actually pork. And they are boneless. So nice. I mean, let's just cut down on all of the extra work, right, Please. of having to worry about bones or anything yeah. like that. So everything just goes, whoops, everything just goes right here into the crock pot. They're making you work for it. They, they are, they're kind <laughs> of floppy. Um, so we stick them in here. Okay. And then this is what goes on top. We've got brown sugar, mm -hmm. and that just gets kind of sprinkled on top. It's yeah. not sprinkling very well. I'll but work it for you. She'll work, she'll work on that for me. Yeah. So we've got the brown sugar that gets sprinkled on top. Mm -hmm. We've got garlic powder, salt, and pepper okay. that goes on top as well. And then dehydrated onions. And these are one of my best friends when it comes to cooking because they don't make you cry. <laughs> Thank you. But you still get the flavor of onions. These are no tears ribs. These are no tears. Okay. Okay, and then the last thing we've got is our apple juice. Oh, okay, that's the liquid. Apple juice is our liquid, and that's all that you need in there. I'm sorry, does it get easier? Uh, and does it get better? I'm seeing the finished plate, so I can say no. That put it on, awesome. walk away. How long? Seven hours on low. Seven on low, yep. they come out looking like this. Now you're gonna sauce out. them up a little bit. Yes, so this is kind of how they look, and I mean, they taste delicious. They don't look as pretty, but <laughs> these ones, this is when we just kind of break it up. You can do pulled pork here. Okay. And this is our barbecue sauce. What do you use? Is there a and, certain brand you love? Um, we use a Sweet Baby Ray's or Famous Dave's. Yeah. And that's our favorite here. And so you literally just break it up with, you know, tongs or something handy I mean, like I, that. I'm making these, if not today, tomorrow. This Please is a, do. They're this so good. Meal. So you just mix it all together. Okay. And, you know, if you like barbecue sauce a lot, a lot, yeah. then, you know, add more or less. Sure. Add to your taste. So Take add us through taste. the different serving methods then. Okay, so the most common one with pulled pork is with a sandwich, right? right? So add it in your sandwich. And I also like to do quesadillas with mm. my leftover pulled pork, yep. and yep. that's super good. And then I've also done it where I've done like a homemade macaroni and cheese oh, with pulled yum. pork in it. Yes. It's really Suddenly good. Suddenly mac and cheese, not just for the kids' table. Yes. I love yes. it. Yes. Yes. And how do you store these, reheat these? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just store it in the fridge for like up to a week or so. You nice. just want to make sure it stays cold and then reheat it in the microwave. Yeah. Um, or you can put it in a Ziploc bag okay. in the freezer and then let it thaw and then reheat it when you're I ready to go. I am so excited to have They're this delicious. recipe in my rotation. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Where can we get more recipes like this from you? Okay, so I am on sunshineandmunchkins.com. That is my website, and my Instagram is the same, sunshineandmunchkins. Because you have some munchkins? I do, I have four. <laughs> and a lot of sunshine. At your house, too, I can feel that from we you. Do. So thank, thank you. you for sharing. We'll link you over to her Instagram from our website if you want to connect. And she's been gracious enough to share this recipe with us there, too.